Hi everyone, it's Saturday, September 10th, 2016, and it's time for a new Mark Minute. Leader Kim Jong-un has banned sarcasm in North Korea, adding, I'm super duper serious, no like triple dog dare serious, I've got nuclear weapons, why won't anyone listen to me, I'm the leader of the country! I think he's trying to get a straight answer out of someone when he asks, what do you think of my haircut? Oh, great and glorious leader, it's truly a wonderful haircut, and so angular. But I suppose that's the danger of a totalitarian regime. You're never really sure if your yes-men are actually yes-men. In retaliation, I fully expect sarcastic speakeasies to start popping up, where the North Korean people can go roll their eyes late into the night. A river in Russia has inexplicably turned red. So far, science does not agree on what the actual cause is, with theories running from naturally occurring algae to dumping of industrial waste to the return of one of the seven biblical plagues. But if my studies are correct, I think we finally found the natural source of borscht. Russian officials have yet to confirm. We must not let world know of secret underground borscht. It is secret of Russia passed down from babushka to babushka. Apple announced their new iPhone, which will come without a headphone jack, because f*** your previous purchases. What's that? You have a high-end pair of Sennheiser headphones? Throw that shit in the garbage, Grandpa! What, are you still writing with a quill? Trust me, you haven't heard good music until you've heard it through an antenna sticking out of your ear. The sound quality's amazing! The Islamic State is now forbidding women to wear the burqa after one of their leaders got assassinated by a veiled woman. Didn't see that one coming. Especially not the women, because they're covered. Hmm. Perhaps North Korea has a surplus of irony and they're shipping it to the Middle East? This Sunday marks the 15th anniversary of the attacks on September 11th, and Walmart is celebrating the only way they know how, with giant effigies made entirely of Coca-Cola products. What better way to honor the dead than with the cool, refreshing taste of Coke? Oh, beautiful for spacious skies and... <laughs> On the one hand, that's a pretty depressing and ham-fisted attempt at shoehorning compassion into the capitalist zeitgeist. But on the other hand, 333 for a pack of coke! D we're going to Walmart, y'all! Well, all that and a whole lot more happened this week, but that's all the time I have for a Mark Minute today. Uh, do you like what I'm doing here? If you do, or if you don't, make sure to hit me up on the social medias that'll be over on this side of the screen or something. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.